All right, guys. Happy Thursday. I wanted to read another chapter of Days with Frog and Toad. The Hat. On Toad's birthday, Frog gave him a hat. Toad was delighted. Happy birthday, said Frog. Toad put on the hat. It fell down over his eyes. I'm sorry, said Frog. That hat is much too big for you. I will give you something else. No, said Toad. This hat is your present to me. I like it. I will wear it. Just the way it is. Frog and Toad went for a walk. Toad tripped over a rock. He bumped into a tree. He fell into a hole. Frog said, Toad, I can't see anything. I will not be able to wear your beautiful present. This is a sad birthday for me. Frog and Toad were sad for a while. Then Frog said, Toad, here is what you must do. Tonight when you go to bed, you must think some very big thoughts. Those big thoughts will make your head grow larger. In the morning, your new hat will fit. What a good idea, said Toad. You guys think that'll work? That night, when Toad went to bed, he thought the biggest thoughts that he could think. Toad thought about giant sunflowers. He thought about tall oak trees. He thought about high mountains covered with snow. Then Toad fell asleep. Frog came into Toad's house. He came in quietly. Frog found the hat and took it to his house. wonder what Frog's going to do. Frog poured some water on the hat. He put, that, he put the hat in a warm place to dry. It began to shrink. That hat grew smaller and smaller. Frog went back to Toad's house. Toad was still fast asleep. Frog put the hat back on the hook where he found it. When Toad woke up in the morning, he put the hat on his head. It was just the right size. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, Frog, he cried. All those big thoughts have made my head much larger. Now I can wear your present. Frog and Toad went for a walk. Toad did not trip over a rock. He did not bump into a tree, and he did not fall into a hole. It turned out to be a very pleasant day after Toad's birthday.